So, y'all are going to be doing homework with me. I know it's a little bit boring, but um, right now we're doing this. Food without the face. Food without a face. And the backward is still the same. So my teacher gave me this homework. And yeah, I got into it. Right here it says, um, I respectfully, hey, no y'all, this is backwards. Yeah, y'all can see it. Okay. So, so it's four paragraphs inside this, um, homework. Which of the okay, I'm gonna read it to you. Let's do the first one. I respectfully request that you and our cafeteria staff rethink the lunch program. My but 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 his family follows a vegetarian diet. We believe that animals are living beings that we should not kill and eat for food. My dad says don't eat anything without the face. Okay, that's weird. That may sound strange. Yeah. To you, however, however it helps us remember to avoid eating beef. Lamb, pork, goat, chicken. Lamb, pork, goat, chicken, turkey, and fish. Our daily school lunches almost always offer some kind of meat, such as hot dogs, burgers, chicken or fish, sticks. My school don't serve fish sticks. I cannot eat any of these foods. Without violating my beliefs, I do not expect all meals to be vegetarian. Since I realize that all not students believe as I do, but I'd find it much easier if the menu include meatless choices. Do you consider adding simple options for me and my brother Kai and others I know who wish or need to? Forget me. Please provide, I mean, please provide sliced cheese or peanut butter. I don't have peanut butter. That's cool. For sandwiches, hard boiled eggs, eggs. No hard boiled eggs, only just peel off hard the skin of the egg. Yogurt. We have yogurt. Human, I don't know what this is. Let's skip it. Or veggie wraps. Why not serve fresh salad with meatless add ons like nuts, cheese, avocado? Let's okay, skip that. Beans, sprouts, or tofu. Tofu's nasty. That will surely appeal to many students and teachers, including those who do eat meat. Thanks for considering my request. My parents say they'll hope I mean happily offer some easy kit easy kit friendly ideas you're truly They got weird now, I'm not gonna say it. So yeah, that is the whole thing. Now let's go read this. We gotta answer the question. No, okay, number one, which of the following would you be violating paragraph two? Number two, according to her letter, Charini Ch Ch follows a vegetarian diet because it is. Less costly than eating meat. Healthy. Okay, I would choose B. 
I choose B. B. B is B is according to her letter. Charney follows a vegetarian diet because it is a healthier way to eat. It's your opinion if you want to eat like Greece food. And vegetarian food and like and like greens and healthy food. Where's my tuna? Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna wear this real quick. I'm gonna go. Okay, I'll die. I'm gonna go and wear these. So, like, I don't always love wearing them. I can wear them every day. Hold up, real quick. Let me just put these on. Look, just they have pointy edges. So, now I'm on a computer right now. I put them on. Space Jam. That's what I'm writing on. By the way, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh. Be right back. Pausing it. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I got my slime. Okay, the homework. The homework. Yeah, yeah. The homework. So I choose B. Yeah, I choose B. Number three. What? What? What can you make about the author? Author based on the points she made in her letter. Explain. She did a letter. Request letter. Request letter. So, let me write it down. Okay. Vegetarian. Oh, I thought that was a bug. That's yeah. That's my sticker. Talking about vegetarian. <gasps> that truck is loud, as much. That truck is so loud. Just talking about vegetarian and healthy food. Wait, about me too. Okay, and wait. Talking about who's talking about the was talking about the about the, the food request. Was talking about the 
Oh well, I don't want to run out of storage, so there's a part two later.